You can see this car behind me here. This is standard from 1907, and you can just see just how large and luxurious it is. Okay. Also, you can see just how much things have changed in the space of just 10 years. Because we've now got doors. We've now got a fixed roof that comes all the way over. And we've now got a steering wheel. We've now got acetylene lights instead of candle lights. Now, this car would have been very expensive to buy. It would have cost about £470, which in today's money is about £40,000. So only for the very, very rich. Okay. Now, um, but they were very popular all road users though. You can see this chap over here, he's a baker, and he's had his horses scared off by the sound of the engines. And the police, well they're always on standby to catch any speeding drivers. They'd hide on the side of the road, set up traps, and then jump out at a moment's notice on any suspecting drivers. So I guess you can say not a lot's changed there. <laughs> <laughs> now this particular car has an interesting little story attached to it. It was made in Coventry by the Santa Motors Company, and it was immediately exported to Australia. Now we don't know quite what happened to it, but it was found rotting away in an old tobacco farm in Australia with a tree growing through the middle of it and it was in a very bad condition. Now apprentice in Australia restored the vehicle and sent it back to country as a gift. And we believe this is the oldest surviving standard in the world. That's why it's been given the number plate SMC1, which stands for Standard Motor Company 1. So this is the end of this tour. If you make your way around that way now, you can explore how cars turn from a pastime for the wealthy into a truly major industry. So thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.